Recently, I shadowed and interviewed Mackenzie Russell, a graduate student at UNCW studying marine biology. She has devoted her graduate research to studying fractures on marine mammals by observing museum specimens. She looks at occurrence, location, and species of each animal. Her main goal is to determine whether or not the fractures are more linked to mating strategies or general behavior. The real challenge of her work is knowing what bones are fractured, because it can be difficult to fully tell where a bone is fractured or not. This video will give an introductory description on how to tell whether a dolphin rib bone is fractured or not fractured. Bottlenose dolphins, like the one seen here, are highly social and sometimes aggressive animals, and were a species featured in Mackenzie's study. Bottlenose dolphins are migratory species and make a sound like this. This image depicts a fractured rib bone versus a non-fractured rib bone in a bottlenose dolphin. The fractured bone, on the left of the image, has a distinguishable bone disfigurement as opposed to the non-fractured bone on the right. This image shows an example of bone callusing. Callusing is an indication that the fracture had healed or partially healed, meaning that the fracture occurred when the animal was living. This is important because Mackenzie's study only included animals that were fractured while alive. Many bones can have natural disfigurements from birth or have been fractured when the animal's body was moved after it died. This makes it important for Mackenzie to be able to recognize calluses. Well, there you have it. You are now equipped with the knowledge of determining whether a bottlenose dolphin rib has been fractured. Feel free to post this information to your friends, family, teachers, or coworkers. Congratulations, you've learned something new today.